Some good news from Hollywood, the only city that's got a name tag in case you forget where you are. Yesterday, the 2020 Emmy nominations were announced, and it was an especially great day for Black performers who got a record 34% of the nominations, which is huge and well-deserved, but it's still not enough. That's right, I won't be satisfied until Black people get 100% of the nominations. Yeah, you heard me. We're coming for you, white people. In fact, we want every role to be played by a black actor. I won't be happy until Kevin Hart is playing Queen Elizabeth in The Crown. Mm, uh, mm. Let me tell you something, Prince Charles. Mm. No one wants to hear your opinion. You ain't shit, okay? I'm the queen. You ain't shit. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm joking, guys. It really is great to see black performers getting the recognition they deserve. And that's all black people want. And we at The Daily Show are extra grateful because once again, we were nominated. And so to you, the viewers, I wanna say thank you so much. Without you, there would be no show and no one would be tweeting me to criticize my apartment decor. I see you, internet, and you hurt my feelings. But let's move on to the ongoing tensions between the United States and China. First, there was a fierce battle over trade. Then the US began blaming China for the coronavirus. And last week, the State Department expelled Chinese diplomats from a consulate in Texas, claiming that they were using it for spying which then caused China to shut down an American embassy in response. And I mean, all of that is basically the diplomatic equivalent of unfollowing each other on Instagram. So with all of this going on, it's no surprise that this story has people freaking out. Now to a growing mystery surrounding unsolicited packages of seeds randomly being sent to Americans across the country. Agriculture officials are warning residents if you didn't order the seeds, do not plant them. The packages appear to have originated in China. Uh, okay, this is really bizarre. People all across America are getting unexpected packages of seeds in the mail from China. And what's even stranger, is that some people might actually be planting them? Who just gets an unexpected packet of seeds in the mail and goes, well, I wasn't planning on planting any mystery vegetables in my backyard, but now it would be rude not to plant them. Haven't people learned anything from Jack and the Beanstalk? You can't just go around planting random shit that people give you. Cause then before you know it, you're climbing up a giant beanstalk into the sky and then you're killing a giant and now you're wanted for giant murder. And so now you have to change your identity and pretend that you're some South African host of a late night show. And you know what? I've already said too much. Now I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard the story, I didn't know what to think. I mean, why would China be sending random packets of seeds to Americans? Like what, in three months, are those seeds gonna bloom into Chinese soldiers? But it turns out the real explanation might not have anything to do with espionage. Basically, Chinese businesses could be sending seeds to people in America simply as a way to generate a fake sale and fake positive reviews, which then boost their online ratings, which to me seems like a waste of time. I mean, it's really easy to spot a fake positive review online because every positive review is fake. People only write reviews when they're pissed off. Nobody's taking the time to go on Amazon like, Broom works as advertised pushes dirt from one spot to another. Five stars. Either way, the joke's on you, China, because plants have been the only thing keeping me company the last few months. Yeah, you're just sending me new friends. Isn't that right, Jeremy? Jeremy, you take that all lives matter bullshit out of your mouth before I kick you out of the house. It's not cool, man. Moving on to today's big tech news. While Jeff Bezos is testifying in Congress for the first time ever, his ex-wife, Mackenzie Scott, was making news of her own. Because Forbes magazine recently named her the third richest woman in America. But now, she's working hard on moving down the list. Mackenzie Scott, who used to be married to Jeff Bezos, says she's donated $1.7 billion to causes that she believes are important to her. The money will go to more than 100 organizations in nine areas of need. That includes racial and LGBTQ equality. Scott, who changed her name to her middle name following her divorce, received a quarter of Bezos' shares when they divorced. And that was worth $35 billion at the time. Damn, $1.7 billion donated to charity. It's almost like Mackenzie Scott is determined to be the anti-Bezos. She's woke, she doesn't hoard her money, and she has a full head of hair. I mean, I guess the only downside is if she ever starts a home delivery service, nothing you order will ever arrive in time. And you know, it's great that she's being this charitable because $35 billion 
is a shit ton of money. Like, she's so rich that when she checks the balance on her phone, she has to turn it sideways. And when you're in landscape mode, you rich, rich. And you know, the best part is you can't even say that she's donating all this money for the tax write-off because billionaires don't pay taxes. Speaking of billionaires who lose money, Donald Trump. Unlike every other American president, he's been oddly chilled out about Russian aggression towards the US. And now he's basically giving a giant shrug to one of Russia's deadliest schemes yet. It's been widely reported that the US has intelligence indicating that Russia paid bounties or offered to pay bounties to Taliban fighters to kill American right. soldiers. Right. You had a phone call with Vladimir Putin on July 23rd. Did you bring up this issue? No, that was a phone call to discuss other things. And you've never discussed it with him? I have never discussed it with him, no. Uh, it never reached my okay. desk. You know why? Because they didn't think it was intelligence. They didn't think it was real. It was they in your written brief, though. Do you read your written brief? I do. do I read you? a lot. Really? You know, I read a lot. They like to say I don't read. I read a lot. Uh, your, your I, daily I comprehend extraordinarily well. Okay, first of all, I actually believe Trump when he says that this intelligence briefing never reached his desk. Because, I mean, his desk is so full of Goya beans, where were they gonna put the files? But it is bizarre that Trump is the most impulsive president ever, except when it comes to Russia. I mean, people are protesting against the police, and he's like, we gotta send in the troops, break it up, people, we gotta destroy them. But when Russia is putting bounties on American troops, he's like, they're only lashing out because we hurt them. Like Dr. Jen says, hurt people, hurt people. I mean, I guess I can understand where Trump is coming from. It is super awkward bringing up to your buddy how he put a bounty on your soldiers' heads. You know, you're talking sports, you're talking chicks. You don't want to ruin the vibe with how he's spearheading a campaign to compensate enemy combatants for killing your troops. Zero chill, man, zero chill.